Hello, my fellow humans, it's your boy the Unusual Geek here, and today let's talk about conspiracies. Who doesn't love a good conspiracy? They really open up the mind and make you look at things from various angles to think, maybe this idea could be plausible. Some perfect examples of conspiracy theories is that 9-11 was an inside job, or the conspiracy surrounding the Kennedy assassination. And don't even get me started on Jimmy Hoffa. Conspiracies are great to talk about. They could be good fun to kind of like toy with the ideas and play around with certain scenarios as long as you don't go too deep into them. But there's one conspiracy that I don't mess around with and I don't respect the people who do. This is going to bring us to the first of maybe a long running segment that I am now introducing here on Titanic Month called Trigger Warning. I think you guys know where this is going to go. Today's topic, or conspiracy, <laughs> I'm already getting angry, is that the Titanic and the Olympic were switched. The conspiracy goes like this. In September 1911, during its fifth commercial voyage, the Olympic collided with the HMS Hawk near the Isle of Wight, southern England. It was later determined that the suction from the Olympic had pulled the Hawk into the ocean liner. The Hawk crashes into the Olympic, creating a gash in her hull. The Olympic does not sink. She sustains some damage, but she's able to limp back to port for repairs. This is where the conspiracy kicks in, because people actually believe that the White Star Lane made the conscious decision to switch the Olympic and the Titanic. So, so the idea behind the conspiracy is that they switched Titanic with Olympic because Olympic was already damaged and they figured if they just swap the names, repaint everything and just, you know, say this is Titanic, even though it's Olympic, purposefully sink the ship, they could collect the insurance money and get this big payout. But here's the problem with that. Titanic was underinsured. There is documentation, public documentation out there that we can see, like this, right here, that Titanic was only insured for $5 million. Both Titanic and Olympic cost $7.5 million each to build. Okay, you're still not convinced? Let me drop some more knowledge bombs on you. So. Each ship gets their own designated number. Olympic was 400. Titanic was 401. If we go down to the bottom of the ocean and look at, let's say, the propellers, the, the, they have engraved on all these different types of machinery and plating the number 401. That means it's Titanic. Still not convinced? That's okay. I'm not done. Let's look at the ships as a whole. Titanic and Olympic, albeit very similar looking ships, do have some big distinctive differences. For example, on the Olympic's promenade deck, it's all open. Just large open windows from bow to stern. If we look at the Titanic, they actually enclosed the front half of the promenade deck to keep the sea spray from, you know, getting into people's faces and whatnot. If you look at the wreck, closed promenade. Now, a lot of people are gonna come at me and be like, but Matt, there was a documentary that showed that the Olympic and the Titanic switched because there's a giant MP on the side of the boat because the brass lettering fell off the ship. Okay. I have seen said documentary. The documentary came out in 2012 called The Shocking Truth. I'm going to play said clip for you right here. Look at the terrible CGI of this big reveal at the very end of the documentary, which is a terrible documentary because it's clearly scripted and meant to be big and dramatic and it's god awful. And then you have this horrible CGI animation of an MP 
you know, saying, oh, the, you know, letters that spelled out Titanic, you know, rusted off and fell off and was on the sediment on the floor and there's a giant MP. I'm frothing at the mouth. First of all, there's no brass lettering that's riveted onto the ship. The names of the ship are engraved and painted. You can't just throw brass letters. That's not how it works. There is footage. When they found the wreck on the side, it says Titanic. When they looked at the stern on the back, Titanic, right above the word Liverpool. It's Titanic. No matter how many times I or any of the leading experts um, try to convince these people who are so dead set on this conspiracy that they're wrong for, you know, a laundry list of reasons. They still hold on to this conspiracy. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why. None of the points that they make make any sense. We've gone down to the wreck. We've studied the wreck inside and out. There is nothing, no evidence that you could possibly bring to light that would convince any respectable Titanic enthusiast that she was switched with her sister Olympic. Sure, it's a fun conspiracy to kind of toy around with, but there are people who take this topic to heart. And I, I, I wonder just when they lost their last brain cell. I really do, because it's ridiculous. Anytime somebody <laughs> tries to bring up this conspiracy to me, I shut them down real quick. Um, I think my girlfriend's family tried to bring it up one time. We were hanging out at her parents' house and someone's like, Matt, did you hear about this Titanic conspiracy that she was switched? I'm like, I'm going to stop you right there because you don't want to, you don't want to get me going. It's bad. This is why this I, I saved this topic for the trigger warning segment because I get so triggered. Like a lot of things don't bother me. If somebody you know somebody could come up to me and be like, "Did you know 9/11 was an inside job? It was all President Bush's idea." I'm like, I don't care. It was a tragedy, and a lot of people died, and it was sad. That stuff doesn't bug me. But when somebody comes up to me, and I know people do it deliberately because they want me triggered. They want to get that reaction out of me. So here it is. Titanic is Titanic. She hit the iceberg, she sank, she's at the bottom of the ocean. Olympic went off to have a semi-successful career and that's that. There was no switch. I've debunked this conspiracy. Well, that's going to be it for our very first segment of Trigger Warning. Now that my blood is boiling, I think I'm going to end it right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button. It really warms my heart when you do that. And maybe if you do that, my, my blood pressure will, will go down a little bit to a, a more normal level. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button and don't forget to ding that little bell next to it so you guys can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. I'm the Unusual Geek and I will see you guys in the next one.